Well, the red-hot inflation rate had been cooling off, but new numbers show an unexpected spike last month, the first increase in nearly a year. At its peak, inflation reached 8.1 percent, and while the annual rate in April was down to 4.4 percent, that is up slightly from March. As CTV's Manitoba Bureau Chief Joe Makashan reports, the rise is fueled by gas, housing and groceries. Just when Canadians thought the cost of living was starting to stabilize, new inflation data shows... It went up again. No. It sure did. Food, which had been one of the biggest drivers, saw increases again in April. Some fresh fruit, coffee and tea, but lettuce dropped in price. Still, for shoppers, the only noticeable decrease is at the till. Yeah, the amount of stuff I buy. I'm not sure where you can really cut corners at this time. You know, it may be travel. Fuel prices are up month over month, a 6.3% increase from March to April. Rent prices up 6.1% year over year. And mortgage interest costs jumped 28.5% from 2022. Higher interest rates brought in to cool inflation, now adding to the increase. Those user costs, those are going up. So in some sense, it's a, it's a you know, kind of a dog chasing its tail. You're trying to get the inflation down, but the bank is, in the short term, contributing to it. This increase is the first since rates peaked last June. Then the inflation rate was 8.1 percent. The Bank of Canada has set a target of 2 percent. All eyes are now on May rates to see if the upward trend continues. And the question is going to be, uh, at what point is the Bank of Canada's patience going to be tested? And I think this number today um, you know, could, could tilt the balance. The looming possibility again of interest rate hikes. The Bank of Canada will issue its next overnight rate target June 7th. Jill Makishon, CTV News, Winnipeg.